What's going on guys, it's Basilia12 here, coming at you in the video, and today we are going to be, uh, we're going to be covering a request from the, uh, from, from the other, um, it was from, it was from our feeder clan, I believe it was by a guy named Eric, he, I sent out a mailing saying, uh, for all you new people who are in this clan, I do have a YouTube channel where I, I make videos to, in the hopes of helping out uh, some of my clanmates, or uh, if people from other clans happen to see it, then it could potentially help them out as well. So he he sent me the message saying, uh, "Do a defense deck. Defense decks don't really exist. Um, you have siege. You have control." You have cycle and then you have beat down so what i think he means is probably i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna do the best of my ability what i think he meant which is uh control so with control uh i would not recommend that strategy uh and the reason is because it does require minor if you do have minor then uh, go for it, but as you can see, I do not have minor. It is one of my cards not found. So, what I'm going to do is, if you don't have if you don't have minor, you it's sort of difficult to make a control deck. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't use the control mentality. So, with beatdown, your mentality is to uh, pump up or create big pushes behind a large tanks, such as like a giant. Or a golem. Golem beatdown is very popular. Control. You uh, what, what you're doing with control is that you have very very strong defensive cards. Uh, so bowler is usually uh, is usually in most control decks, and you rely on creating positive elixir trades. So using less elixir on defense to defend their high elixir pushes and then use your elixir advantage to go in for a punish and usually it's around uh well i know i know with minor control what you're doing is that you're sort of uh throughout the throughout the course of the game you are slowly chipping away at like both your towers and then over time you just start going crazy you start minor poisoning uh constantly and you're constantly out cycling their defenses which does use a bit of um, the cycle mentality. So the cycle mentality. Do let's see if I have a cycle deck. Okay, this is sort of a cycle deck. This is a bait deck, but um, with with a cycle deck, what you're doing is that you you usually will have hog or miner, uh, and the the purpose of the deck is that you have you'll have low cost cards such as the ice spirit skeletons, ice golem zap which is starting to make a bit of a comeback. Uh, Fire Spirits, a lot of these low cost cards, your highest cost card will usually be um, your uh, hog, which is four. There's a reason why the 2.9 hog cycle has been uh, popular for such a long time. And the 2.9 the 2.9 hog cycle uh, looks like this. Uh, let's see, where's the, that's hog, use. Uh, you got musketeer in there, I believe, as well. You also have cannon. Where's musketeer? Oopsies. Um, you got musketeer, and you also have fireball. Oh, 2.6. Sorry, 2.6 hog cycle. There's a reason why it's been popular for such a long time. Uh, this is a very, very solid deck. And what you're doing with this deck is that you are using your defensive cards and you're trying to get as much value out of them as possible. For instance, skeletons to distract to um, take out knight, as well as skeleton army uh, or musketeer, so you're getting like positive three, positive. Skeletons are a very underrated card and they are very, very good. And then what you're doing is that you're putting down like as many hog rides as possible. So let's say their defense is cannon or tornado, which is very popular as you see you have been seeing a downfall of a cannon, so this is the one that I would recommend using now. But what you're doing is that you're trying to outcycle their their counters. The downfall of this deck is that is if they have like two 
or three counters to your hog, then what you're trying to do is basically survive for the entire uh, for the entire time and hopefully get a draw. So I'm going to showcase two decks. I'm going to be doing the exp an expo deck and also I'm going to be doing a motorcycle deck. So we'll start off with motorcycle and this is the deck right here. Uh, actually no, that's not the deck. I just copied off someone else. This is the deck. <laughs> so uh, basically I'll, I'll sort of try and talk about what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully I can get a win. It's been a really long time since I've done mortar, mortar cycle. I don't think I've done it since uh, probably jungle. No, not jungle. Yeah, jungle. Uh, so when I was around 2600 and it's, it's solid. So it's a very, very powerful deck. Uh, I would not recommend. Okay, we'll we'll see what we'll see what he has. Okay, so well, let's see if we can get more archers. Triple archers have never failed. Okay, there we go. Now we got the mortar locked on. It is level eight mortar, so it won't be doing as well as one would hope. So we're gonna, do, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna see if we can take out that electro. There we go. <coughs> now we got the mortar locked on once again. And what you're trying to do is uh, get your mortar down as often as possible and then get it so that you can just rocket the tower. Hopefully my water doesn't hit in the crossfire, okay. Okay, so uh, he's basically playing defense this entire time. Uh, I do have a level 6 rocket, so I would want to get uh, that tower a little lower, if possible. I mean, here's overtime. We'll be doing much better in overtime. Okay, we're going to have to probably do this. Okay. Yeah, we could lose this. Um, it's this is a hard deck to use when it's you're at a you're at a level disadvantage. We can just try and start rocketing, but um, as you can see, I don't really think this deck is any good. I would recommend Expo uh, for low levels. But we're basically going to keep them from three counting us. I'm, I would say good game, but, you know, he's doing all that, so I wouldn't. I'm not. I don't really care. Um, we're going to see if we can get a win with it. Hopefully. I don't know. It's hard to use when you're rocking level 8 mortar. I'm going to check after this game and see if I can upgrade it. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll see what he has. Okay, that could be a problem. Hopefully that will take it out. The Electro is really makes this deck difficult and also when you're going up against multi-tank decks. Okay, we got it locked on. Awesome. A little slow on the. Okay, we'll just we'll just take what we can get, and we're gonna drop Inferno right here, and take out those two things. Level six Inferno. 
Uh, hopefully, there we go. That was pretty good value of that inferno. Um, our order is not in cycle. Okay. Naked graveyard, questionable. Because it's pretty easy to counter. He does have Bowler, no, Electro Wiz back in cycle, so he also has that. Um, let's see if we can get. Oh no! I dropped it too far back. That's a wasted mortar. Okay, well, we can, we can counter this Electro Wiz though. Oopsies. That was a bad placement, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's see what he does. Okay. Again, naked graveyard, very questionable. This deck is very strong defensively. Okay, we're gonna start playing defense. These graveyard decks are powerful. Uh, I do think that the uh, expo deck that I have offers a little bit more protection against it. But we're not gonna be dropping any more mortars. <coughs> if I had a level seven rocket, I would be a lot better off. Oh, he can just poison. Poison log. Okay, so we're going to switch to the next deck. I would not recommend using this deck. Uh, if people do use it on ladder, it's, I just hate it. Uh, it. I think that it is slowly it's moving out of the meta. Uh, I don't think it's really any good anymore. So we're going to see if we can uh, use this expo. We'll just do another challenge. Don't really care. Uh, defense, defense decks... I wouldn't say they're the best. Okay, we got a level 8. Um, I wouldn't say they're the best because... Um, just, just because of like where the meta's going. Okay, we should counter all that. Now we're up on Elixir a lot, and now we can just do this. So I'm um, I'm just guessing that we're playing against an inexperienced player right now. So Expo's pretty fun. I think it does more damage. Okay, now he's even lower on he's put himself even lower on Elixir. So the problem with this deck though is that it doesn't cycle as fast. Which could be a problem. I think he may drop skeleton army. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna have to log that just to cycle to our skeletons. And I'll take that out. I'm not sure what the rage skeletons is gonna do. Uh, I honestly feel sort of bad, but uh, you know it's, it's a game. Um, can't make every can't be nice all the time. Sometimes it's the tough love that can help people out. I don't know. Let's see if he rockets that. Either way, it's going to be a three count game. Good luck. So, honestly, this is my favorite. This is my more favorite of the two. 
Uh, we'll see if we can get another one in. <clears throat> Against Alpha, because I think that's Japanese. Okay, uh, ooh, okay. If he pig pushed, uh, I was like, okay, that's a bad placement. Um, so he's running hog. Don't really know much beyond that. Okay, he's running bait. So this deck does do pretty well against bait. Um, okay, let's see what let's see if, where's the inferno. Oh, probably should not have done that. Oh well. We're still gonna get some damage out. Cause if he has minion horde, I could be in a bit of trouble. But we got pretty we got we got quite a bit of damage. As you can see, once the expo locks on, you're you're basically set. Because it does last a lot longer than mortar. So, okay, we'll just log. Um, he does have Hog Rider, so we are going to... Okay, we're not going to do that. We're going to split our archers. Oh, counter that. Okay, there's not really much we can do. I'm expecting a Hog soon. There's the Hog. Night will not get there. So let's do this. I gotta give it to him. He is staying very consistent. In his, uh. Okay, that, that expo won't actually do anything. Did he dropped something back there? He, oh, I think he dropped another princess. So we can fireball that. Um, let's see what he drops. Inferno. That's interesting. So, okay, we have to fireball this again. Um, he is making it a little more difficult than I would like to be able to get through. So what we're going to have to do... Okay, that, that was a poor trade. Because he does not have any direct damage. So what we're going to do, we're just going to defend, and then we're going to start fireball cycling him. Which is pretty straightforward. Okay, that's all we needed. This is what I call value. So this is gonna be this is gonna be the last game. Uh, as you can sort of see, what I'm doing, this deck is pretty strong defensively. Let's see if we can clip that. Ooh, there we go, more value. I'll take it. I believe we're like two fireballs away. Okay, so, well, this is a good game, uh, this is a long game, I gotta say well played, well played, good game, thumbs up.
So that was a good game to Alpha. Uh, this, this deck does very, very well against bait because you have the fireball, um, you have the log, you also have minions which are very um, good against taking like out skeleton army and stuff like that. Uh, so this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, here are the two decks. You got the Expo. Uh, you got this sort of Expo cycle type deck. It's honestly the cheapest one I can make uh, that does that works and does well. And then the other one is this mortal is this mortar cycle deck. If you are a much better player than I am, you could probably get away with doing this. Uh, the reason why a lot of people use this is because you can over level the mortar because it's a common. Uh, and the reason why a lot of people use this expo is just because it's a lot easier to use and on and honestly it's a lot more punishing there is a reason why uh, this deck was the deck is very popular up in the top 100 well not this specific deck that you probably use like other variants but expo is still very popular up there because expo is still very very strong so two decks right here uh, these are these are siege decks these are this is the one I would recommend this is the video. This is Basilia Twelve signing off. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.